right, a look at business now. We're going over to Richard Southern. Last time we checked in with you, we were talking about Amazon and the Prime membership that, that's going to see a price hike. Uh, and now we just have a bit of clarification about where it's going to be hiked. Yeah, it's good news for us. Our, our ACE, yeah, got, you got good, good people there, Melanie. Our mm -hmm. ACE production staff at BT, they found out that the Prime membership fee is not going up in Canada. It is in the U.S. Amazon hiking at $20 a year in the, in the States, but Amazon Prime not changing in Canada. At the same time, Amazon in with absolutely stellar earnings, profit more than doubling to $1.6 billion. Sales up 43% cents, 43 to $51 billion in three months. It's continuing to steal business away from established retailers by offering virtually any product often at a lower price and in some cases now it's quicker to buy it from Amazon than it is in a physical store. Amazon also announcing a 65 million dollar deal with the NFL to stream Thursday night football games. So Amazon Prime not changing in Canada. That's good news. Uh, Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon, he's now the richest he's ever been. He's the richest person in the world. He has a net worth of 126 and a half billion. Second on this list is Bill Gates with a net worth of 91.1. You know what both these richest people in the world say they do every day? This is interesting. They say they both do the dishes every night. They actually like doing them. And research finds this might be part of the key to their success. Multiple studies have found that doing the dishes can reduce your stress and make you more creative. Researchers at Florida State University found that the warm water and the smell of the soap stimulates your brain. So maybe that's what we need to be multi-billionaires. Do the dishes every night. Uh, meantime, big change is coming to uh, the Eaton Center, Cadillac Fairview, that owns the mall, announcing plans to install a rooftop bar. This is uh, down at the corner of Young and Queen, 123-year-old heritage building there, which is part of the Eaton Center, going to get a rooftop bar and a restaurant. This is part of an ongoing renovation at the Eaton Center, which will include a so-called urban campus workspace for thousands of Bank of Montreal workers. Speaking of having a few cocktails, perhaps on a Friday, should brainstorming sessions at work maybe happen in the bar rather than in the office. New research finds that those who have had a few cocktails are better at creative problem solving. Mississippi State University gave a couple of cocktails to 20 subjects, then they gave them some problems to solve. Not only did they solve them uh, if more correctly uh, than the sober control group, they also solved them quicker. And the experts say this has to do with a little bit of a loss of focus. Don't overdo it, though. They say once your blood alcohol crosses 0.08, you're not very good at solving anything at all. Kevin Frankish, what's on your mind this well, morning? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going over what I've learned from Richard Southern this morning. <laughs> I'm learning, get drunk and do the dishes if you want to be a better person. Yes, that's not, that's not a bad night, getting drunk and doing the dishes, Kevin. I've had worse <laughs> nights than that. Uh, we call that a Friday night in Barrie. All right. By the way, Kevin, I yeah. wish I had to put a few dollars down on that royal baby name at, what, 20 to 1 odds? What, was it, what were the odds in the one we saw, Winston? 14 to 1, 13 to 1? I, saw, this, I be, saw it as long as 20 to 1, though, Kevin. I mean, this is unbelievable. You could have cleaned up on Louis. Uh, coming up, we're going to actually uh, discuss um, who he's probably named after. There is a certain person who does come to mind. So say what, because they don't just name the babies. They had to look at a baby book. There's, there's historic reasons behind it. I was it, hoping so. for Richard. There was a King Richard. He was the Mad King, though. I guess they didn't want to go down that road again, Kevin. Pr Pr Prince Albert was the number one choice uh, with the bookies, uh, but I think they were worried about the do you have Prince Albert in a can phone prank catching on again. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks.